Hello, welcome everybody to Casa Árabe in Madrid. We are here to present the current exhibition that we are holding in our building, in this magnificent building that is, uh, dates from the late 19th century, and it was constructed in this neo-Mudejar style, or neo moorish style, that was the style that many architects of the time, mainly Madrilian architects, embraced, following the line of the romantic orientalism of the time and inspired, very much inspired on the Islamic and, uh, architecture and legacy. And this is the building where we are holding now the beautiful exhibition Without Borders, Sin Limites in Spanish, which is the project that we have put together with the Nas Jordan National Gallery of Fine Arts. But before going into the building and visiting the exhibition, I would like to give the floor to Dr. Khaled Hreis, the director of the Jordan National Gallery of Fine Arts, who from Amman is going to give you some introduction on the curatorial concept of this exhibition. As you know, the Jordan National Gallery of Fine Arts uh, uh, did in the past many exhibitions in different uh, countries and uh, uh, places, uh, cities, um, from uh, the beginning, since uh, uh, 1980. Uh, now we continue with these exhibitions, and this time we, we decide to have this exhibition at Casa Arabe. Uh, we decide to, to represent this, uh, these artists, 16 artists, young artists, a new generation with a new blood, new ideas. The idea is uh, about the borders, uh, unlimited. We call it unlimited. It's about the border, not the borders, the physical borders, but political, social, uh, gender, etc. Uh, there are many borders and we want to break the uh, stereotype about the Arab world and the Islamic world, you know. Uh, from two parts, from the West and uh, also from the Arab mm, towards the West. I, I'm proud of these uh, uh, artists. They represent uh, themselves, uh, their ideas, uh, uh, their feelings, their wishes to arrive to the West, uh, to have the uh, communication, to build bridges for the good and best future for the humanity uh, around the world. I mean, the idea of the art is uh, in this case, uh, or the idea of this exhibition uh, is that. We have uh, also many things in the future. Uh, we established a platform uh, at the Jordan National Gallery called Factory. And through Factory, we we can do many projects. We have actually four projects uh, in an uh, international uh, level. So we have open calls and we call uh, from all the around the world, the artists, they come to Jordan and they participate in uh, public art and uh, different uh, projects uh, that we uh, launched through this uh, platform. Now I hope this exhibition will visit uh, Cordoba and maybe will travel to other city uh, in Spain. I'm very happy of this cooperation with the uh, Casa Arabe. They are very professional. We did a good uh, job between them and us. And uh, the idea is to have a good relation between uh, civilizations, between people, to look for the environment, to look for the justice, to live in a nice, because now, as you know, uh, we are in a bad situation around the world and there are many problems to resolve. I think art is this uh, media and uh, it's very important. Uh, art has to many important role in these issues. I can say that uh, also the Jordan National Gallery now from the permanent uh, collection, uh, we will have a, a big exhibition. It's about Africa because Jordan National Gallery of Fine Art has a, a big uh, collection uh, 
permanent correction from the third world as uh, developing countries, we say, let's say, and it's uh, unique in the world for that reason. And we can do, and as we did before, uh, many exhibitions of art from Jordan, from Arab countries, uh, from Islamic countries, etc. I think that uh, this exhibition will give us uh, and the public uh, the idea, an idea about the African art today. Uh, and uh, we will follow and continue with our activities. The Jordan National Gallery play a, a very important role in uh, the society we open to the, our local society. Uh, we have also very important project. We call it mobile uh, museum or touring museum that travel every uh, Tuesday uh, to uh, um, different villages in Jordan. This is, we launched this project 2009. Uh, till now, we visited more than 400 uh, villages. So it's a kind to, to arrive to the people that they cannot come to see the museum, but later they can come and uh, we have to do very important. The museum now has to, to change many things it's not the place that we can only put art uh, and display art, but it must be a very active center in different ways uh, and to touch the problems uh, of the people and to leave, uh, let the people play a role uh, in uh, the museum also to, to be, to participate in our activities in a good way. Thank you. Thank you very much for your interest and for uh, uh, everything. And uh, it's a good, uh, it's a pleasure, a great pleasure to participate in the day that you mentioned. And uh, freedom is is uh, <laughs> our goal in, in this world. Hello again. We are now at the main hall, main exhibition hall of Casa Arabe, and we find at our entrance the magnificent round bed, this artwork by Ahmed Salame. This uh, installation is entitled Deep Sleep, and it relates very much with the artistic practice of this artist, who is very much preoccupied of analyzing the very mundane acts that we conduct every day. No? So with this seven, this pyjama uh, constructed or designed for seven people, he tries really to underline how difficult it is to share some of the very quotidian acts that we conduct every day, like sleeping. No? Uh, Ahmed Salame was trained in visual arts, but also in cloth making, as you can very well see with this beautiful piece. In this series of portraits, Linda Alhuri presents the lives of many people that's, that has decided in a certain moment to change their work or their, the, the, the main activity that they are dedicated to and move into artistic fields. A decision that, as she underlines, is always quite complicated in a world that is not always very much constructed toward artistic careers. No? So we see here uh, the portraits of people that have become dancers, opera singers, photographers, visual artists, and, or photographers like herself. No? Firash Shehadi a visual artist that has worked very much on video, new technology, sound, and his work is very much connected or related to the issue of migration and the borders. No? Uh, in this uh, work, uh, entitled Unidentified, he's trying to really present the case, the problematic of migrants that come to Europe and has to really erase the trace that they can, by which they can be identified. No? Uh, in this sense, he's working very much on the concept of biometrics. Biometrics refers to metrics related to human characteristics and traits, and it is used to identify individuals in groups that are under surveillance. 
Fingerprint identification is one of the most well-known biometrics. On his words, on the words of Firashi Hade, biometric technologies constitute the, bi the biopolitical dimension of bodies. When getting a, a closer look at the works by Maisel Asaf, you can really feel this game and this dialogue between the perfection of the geometry and the subjectivity of the human hand on the, write, on the writing. As you can see here, the gesture and the impulse on the, on the writing dedicated to many Arab poets from, from now and from uh, ancient times. And in a completely different world, artistic practice and world, is the work by Mohammed Hawari, that the one that we are having a look now from here, entitled Are We There Yet? Mohammed Hawari, the same as many other colleagues, artists in this exhibition is also very much preoccupied on the daily uh, and mundane uh, acts and in his case he has conducted a research on what implies the act of eating a, a very simple act that we usually do not pay attention to but is really what brings us together in many cases without any uh, precise effort so it's really the act of eating that is kind of universal and it does not have, uh, um, it's something that is done by all of us and it's a way also to, of getting together. So this is what she is exploring in this photographic series, a uh, very documentary uh, kind of, uh, of project and um, gives another uh, perspective on many of the current preoccupations of the artists that are incorporated and represented in this exhibition. And also connected to the very topic of home and feeling very much the need of connecting to the roots or to the, to the place where we all be belong to is the work of this artist Ahmed Al Khalid, who is a graphic designer who lives now in Australia but whose life has brought him to many different countries. And precisely this very issue of uh, being in many places and the question of where do I belong to uh, is very much reflecting in this kind of visual storytelling that is uh, representing in this digital print uh, that are composed like a kind of emotional mapping of many of the elements that really uh, are on his memory, uh, on the memory of the places where he, where he has lived in, the memory of, the, of, of his families and, and, and all these elements of his uh, past and identity. Well, our visit comes to an end and we have at the end of the exhibition this beautiful interactive installation by the artist Asi Arshishani entitled Intersubjectivity, which really uh, invites the visitor to take a seat at the table and to experiment the act of talking, the dialogue, and how it, does it, how is it is registered in this machinery that the Asia has uh, designed um, that records the words of the two uh, interlocutors. So, in a way, uh, underlying the fact that there, there is no, no way to interact and to create a dialogue if the two of them are not seated at the table. It does not work with only one person, obviously. We have finished the visit, and, but I, I wouldn't like to say goodbye to all of you without mentioning that this exhibition came uh, to our place uh, with the production of a beautiful catalogue, which is a bilingual, a bilingual edition in Spanish and Arabic, in which you can go through the different biographies and uh, profiles of the 15 artists that we have uh, presented here, and you can read also their own statements uh, about their works, which are extremely interesting, and I really recommend you to go through all of them. So you can access the catalogue in our ISU channel, the ISU channel of Casa Arabe. And that's it. I would like to thank you all for your attention and I would like to thank you very much 
to the Jordan National Gallery of Fine Arts and to the two curators of this beautiful show, Dr. Khalid al Khreis, the director of the Jordan National Gallery, and Rocío Villalonga. The working with them has been really a great, great pleasure. Thank you.